Hello, sweet friends, and welcome back to today's caffeine and collabing video. All right, friends, we have our matcha here, as always, our second drink of the day. We are just going to get right into it. So how to stop buying things you don't actually like. Well, sweet, sweet friends, <laughs> this all goes back to awareness. So I'm going to give you five tips today on how you can stop buying things you don't actually like. We all do it. We've all done it. It's okay. I'm here to help you out. Number one, find your outfit uniforms. I'll get into this a little bit more in depth later. But your outfit uniforms are essentially the pieces you constantly pair together. I mean, do you do crop tops and low-rise denim? Are you a baggy t-shirt and mini skirt girl? Do you like Bermuda shorts and collared shirts? Do you like tailored pants and muscle tanks? Do you like dresses and belts? You'll start to stop buying pieces that you know you don't actually like. Tried and true, there are just certain style uniforms that we all have and just certain types of pieces we absolutely love pairing together and we feel our most confident in those style uniforms and we tend to just reach for those same pieces that entail those uniforms obviously you can branch out and buy as many different patterns colors etc that you want for those style uniforms but just stick with those pieces that you know you love to wear because you're probably not really going to want to stray away from that if you want to stay confident and you're 10 out of 10 when you dress. Now, you may say, I don't know my style uniform. All right, I'm also here to help you out with that. Number two, make a list of what you wear for one month and only list the outfits that made you feel your absolute most confident. Like, I mean, you put on that outfit and you were like, damn, I felt fire in that. It gets you super excited and you like want to style the pieces again. Open up the notes in your phone, get a notebook, make a list of those outfits. So once you have those outfits, we're going to get into number three. Take those staple pieces from that list. So essentially, you'll notice that you tend to repeat certain brands, certain styles, certain types of shoes. You want to take those pieces from your list, separate them. More specifically, shoe types. Do you wear kitten heels? Do you wear platform? Whatever those specific pieces are, essentially you'll have a list of your 10 out of 10 outfits. And then on another list, you'll have I wore today platform Doc Martens, a crop top, and low rise denim. You will pull out the crop tops because you know you obviously like crop tops. That was a 10 out of 10 fit for you low rise denim you obviously like styling low rise denim that got you super excited and platform so you know like those three types and styles you can even get a little bit more in depth and start separating prints and patterns so let's say the top was floral and let's say the denim were a light wash you could put light wash low rise denim you love light wash and you love floral prints so you can get as intricate as you want in your descriptions of these pieces and the more intricate you are the more you're going to be able to stop buying things you don't actually like because you may think something is cute on a rack and again we all do this but you take it home and it just does not excite you it's like yeah i thought it was so cute but now i'm putting it on and i don't love it it's because it's not part of your style uniform guys number four when you shop and until you know the brands that you love to shop online and the styles that you love when you shop you should really shop in store and you should always try everything on i know some of you are going to say well i try stuff on and i still bring stuff home that you end up not liking yes because you're not taking your time you're not seeing into the details you're not feeling out the piece yes this is all types of touchy feely but if you want to be your most confident, you got to be in tune with yourself. When you go to try your pieces on, you want to note some things. I'm going to give you some examples. One of the things, does it feel even a little bit too tight? Or does it feel even a little bit too loose to where you feel like, ah, uh, it's not really cute oversized. It's like uncomfortable. Those are two examples of really minute details to note. Another really, really big one is when you put that piece on, did you immediately get excited? Like you put it on and you looked at it and you were like, 
oh my god this is so cute and you moved around it a little bit and you were like oh my god it fits me so well you can even do a little dance raise your arms to make sure it doesn't like pop up uncomfortably or bunch up where you'd have to keep tugging at it all day so note when you put a piece on and immediately it gets you excited and then try to move around take in some more detail how the piece fits you these are two really really big ones and i think over time i had made that mistake so often where i might have put the piece on and i was super excited about it and i didn't really take the time to move around in it and see how it fit until you get your style uniforms down pat try to avoid shopping online and just shop in store because it's really really gonna help you understand the pieces that you actually love and actually are gonna wear if you feel anything less than extremely excited about the piece that you're trying on it's a no if you're standing there and you're like man but i but i if there's any buts it's a no it's not worth bringing into your closet you're probably not going to wear it and it's just going to cause clutter let's move on to number five organization here guys i know sometimes our wardrobes can be overwhelming and maybe not maybe your wardrobe is super minimal and you love it organize the clothes in your closet by type organize your clothes by dresses mini maxi midi skirts mini maxi midi pants sweat pants dress pants shorts bermuda etc even if you're like stacking it and it's in order by type if you're folding it down long sleeves separated from tank tops separated from crop tops all those little things are really going to help you pay more attention to these styles of clothes you like and you'll notice that when you get dressed in the morning or middle of the day whenever you wake up you'll start reaching for certain styles and certain pieces more often so if you have a wardrobe that maybe you don't love and you're trying to prune it or even if you're someone who has a wardrobe you love and you still want to kind of dim it down a little bit <laughs> i'm her this is a great way to get rid of some additional pieces and maybe even replace some of those pieces with pieces that you'd love a little bit more and it will also make getting dressed so much easier especially if you have an idea of what you want to wear for the day all right guys that is all i have for you today thank you so much for being here as always like comment down below if you enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys on sunday love you all bye